In this video, we are going to be looking at the latest and greatest 4K TV from Samsung and comparing it to an older entry-level model. I'm also going to be providing some audio and video tests to let you guys hear the speakers and see the video and a lot more. So sit back, relax, and let's begin. Hello, welcome back to JC Tech and Finance. Thank you for subscribing if you have, and if you haven't subscribed, the button is just down below. Here we have the two television sets that we're going to go over today. This is the Q60T from 2020, and this is the QN95B from 2022. One thing that you can tell right off the bat is that the QN95B is a lot brighter than the Q60T. Additionally, both TVs run off a Tizen operating system. Keep in mind that these aren't Android-based TVs, so you will not be able to do any side loading of any applications. Another thing that they share in common is that these TV sets have Bluetooth capability, which means you can use wireless headphones or you can run keyboards and mice on it. A few other things that are similar in these TV sets are that both of these TV sets allow screen sharing through Apple AirPlay, as well as you can also screen share using most Android devices. Additionally, you can use both of these monitors as a computer screen. Now let's do a deeper comparison. The QN95B is so much thinner compared to the Q60T. The depth of the Q60T is 2.3 inches while the depth of the QN95B is 0.7 inches. The QN95B copied the Infinity One design from last year's 8K models. This makes the TV now ideally suited for no gap wall mounting compared to the Q60T. For those who like putting their TVs on a stand, the QN95B has a central stand compared to the two legs that the Q60T uses, which makes the QN95B much better for smaller TV stands. Another feature that makes the QN95B great for wall mounting is the use of the One Connect box, which allows you to put your connections in a more easily accessible area, such as under the TV or on a bookshelf. This way you have all the ports available at a glance instead of having to make any contortions behind the TV to find or reach the right port. Display-wise, the QN95B TV system is significantly brighter than the Q60T, as mentioned earlier. Both TVs have Quantum HDR10 Plus capabilities, but the QN95B has Quantum HDR32X. What is Quantum HDR? Well, it is a mix of two different technologies, HDR and Quantum Dots. Now, HDR, high dynamic range, increases the range of contrast and increases the accuracy of color reproduction. Contrast demonstrates how bright or dark an image on a TV screen can be, while color accuracy affects how similar the colors you get on the screen are to the real colors. The better these two factors are, the more pleasing the image you get on the screen will be. This makes the colors deeper. Now, quantum dot screens are screens that use a different type of backlight. Quantum dot screens emit blue light, while regular backlights emit white light. The 32X means that peak brightness for the QN95B is equivalent to 3200 nits. The QN95B comes with a 144 Hz panel, compared to the 60 Hz panel that the Q60T comes with. You want a screen with a higher number because the higher the number, the smoother the screen will appear to be. This means that a 144 Hz display, which updates itself 120 times a second, will look noticeably slicker and more natural than your average 60 Hz screen, which only updates itself 60 times a second. Note that the 144 Hz refresh rate can only be achieved when using a computer with the right graphics panel. Otherwise, the QN95B will be limited to 120 Hz. Next, here are the viewing angles of each TV. As you can see, the QN95B definitely has a better viewing experience from the side. Next, I'm going to play some demo materials so you guys can really see the difference between the two sets.
Audio-wise, the QN95B has a host of new features compared to the Q60T. The QN95B has a 4.2.2 channel setup with 70 watts of power compared to the 20 watts of power that the Q60T has. The QN95B also supports Dolby Atmos, Object Tracking Song Plus feature, and the Q-Symphony feature. All features the Q60T does not support. Why do you care? The Q-Symphony feature allows audio to play back on both the TV and the song bar at the same time. The Object Tracking Song Plus feature allows song to follow the movement on the screen. And both of these features, along with the Dolby Atmos capability, make for a more immersive experience. Here are some audio samples that you can use to compare the two TVs. Next, let's talk about the operating system. The operating system for the QN95B is now full screen compared to the Q60T, which had a compact start menu. Both TVs support Samsung Bixby, Google Assistant, and Amazon Alexa. The remote has also been upgraded compared to the Q60T. Instead of using regular batteries, the QN95B's remote can be recharged via solar energy and radio waves. More information about the QN95B remote can be found here. Next, let's talk about ports. All the ports are on the back side of the Q60T, which makes them difficult to access, while the QN95B has the One Connect box, which makes it easier to access the ports. The Q60T has three HDMI ports, including one that supports an audio return channel, while the QN95B has four HDMI ports, all 2.1. One thing that the Q60T does do better is its compatibility with older devices. The Q60T has a composite connection that can be used to connect your old Nintendo Wii or your PlayStation 3. Gaming-wise, the QN95B's gaming hub alone makes the upgrade worth it. The new Tizen OS supported by the QN95B allows you to stream games directly to the QN95B using GeForce Now or Xbox Cloud Gaming. You also get access to the Game Bar 2.0, which provides a lot more settings to tinker with. In conclusion, as you can see, there are a lot of improvements compared to the Q60T, and I felt it was worth upgrading. I'll keep you updated on a lot of the new tech that I have had the chance to experience. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do and make sure you smash that bell. But in the meantime, if you want to see a more detailed video on the Samsung Gaming Hub feature, keep watching for a link to that video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next video. GAC Tech and Finance, signing out.